the first thing that I'd like to discuss that I think is really important is <clears throat> it feels like the Spider-Man films, especially um, the ones with Tobey Maguire, um, that they were very serious in nature. And I feel like Spider-Man's become less serious each iteration from that point. And uh, this kind of ties into how, uh, you know, the main character is kind of a, a sillier, younger looking guy permanently, it seems like. Very youthful, very, uh, you know, I guess you call it uh, childlike in a certain way. So in the new film, my problem with it is, is that for years, uh, the main guy, uh, Andarus, uh, whatever his name is, uh, Tom Holland, he um, had been saying that he wanted to get the same feeling of power and responsibility. I mean, I wish I could put up the interviews here, like, you know, on either side of me. Uh, I'm not going to, though. It just suffice it to say him and a lot of the other people involved in the movies kept wanting a great power and responsibility, you know, sort of scene or feeling out of it. Now, in the movie, other Spider-Mans show up, and they kind of give him this impression that something happened in their existence to make them lose a loved one, and they have a conversation with him about it, both Andrew Garfield and Tobey Maguire. Now, the issue here is that Aunt May didn't need to die. You see, these other characters, for plot reasons, it made sense for them to die. But with Aunt May, it really, really isn't necessary. She's literally knocked aside by a glider. And I know that Tobey Maguire just wanted to live up to the feeling of seriousness that other previous Spider-Mans have had. Which is not good for his overall perspective or the way he's played Spider-Man up to this point. So anyway, uh, Aunt May's injured and should have just gone to the hospital, but instead they have a close-up of his face, which I assumed because they were already talking about it in interviews. They filmed it the last minute, and uh, it's just like him spraying like fucking Banaka in his eyeballs and then, you know, having them super red and just crying because Aunt May's dead, supposedly. But it could have just as easily with a re-edit not be that way, which is, leads me to believe that he just wants to be the same as the other Spider-Mans, and I just don't approve. Go fuck yourself, Tom Holland. Uh, it's just... It didn't work in the film. It didn't add anything to your character, and it just makes everybody think that you as the Spider-Man are now sort of, like, killing off your relative, even if it's, you know, your character's relative and not your relative, for the sake of getting older and being more mature as a Spider-Man. And I just, I don't approve of that. So I guess we're going to have to see how well uh, Doctor Strange, um, he can go into the multiverse of madness and save big tit mommy. Because I know lots and lots of kids were very obsessed with uh, Spider-Man's mother's character. So this is going to have to be fixed. And I wouldn't advise any more of this type of behavior in the future without good reason. I mean, Eternals with Angelina Jolie and the other care of people, uh, you know, a, a good team of actors, as good as Spider-Man, as good as any Avengers or anything. They decided upon only one death in the series, and that death was entirely based around a betrayal that was directly related to the plot, not growing up because somebody's died. That's all. So, um... I was hoping that, you know, the Marvel series, because of the recent stress in everybody's lives, would have less death in it. And I think that the fans would agree with me, especially children who've been rather stressed out and maybe lost a relative due to COVID. I'm just saying, disease is a, a hell of a drug. <laughs>